Day Which two. Way did we go? This way? This way. <laughs> I got disoriented. I thought we came up that way. Oh, we lost the water. <laughs> Let's not go back the way we came. Alright, Surveyor's Hut. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Heavily raining early hours of this morning and just before, like 15 minutes ago. So we had our wet weather gear on. But the uh, blue skies are here, thankfully. 11k today, a bit more of a steeper incline. Let's see how we go. Done our rollery, now stretching. We're all prepared. Less weight because we ate a little bit. I've had a little packet of porridge and my stomach's grumbling already. <laughs> we'll be right, it's mind over matter. You know what it is. Everyone else on the first day brings steaks and bacon and eggs for the morning and you can smell smell all the bottles of wine smelling all the beautiful cooked meals. And we got a packet of dried stuff. But mine was pretty good. It's what I got from Nikita. So we'll see how tonight's goes. Enjoy your walk, Kaz. Step. Well, we've just come around this little headland. Yeah, that's where we went with the boat, Karen just said. Went with the boat, so that's Port Arthur over there. That's where those beautiful caves were. Cape Rail, isn't it? That Cape Rail over there. The far that's one? A separate walk, yeah. This is what was on the book. Punishment for playground. So that's a cat of nine tails. We've got a golf club. Ah. Goggles, flip on, fishing rod. <laughs> So That's it funky. used to be a area of punishment and now it's a playground for people's leisure. What do we have here, Karen? Well, I think, boy George, we've got wombat poo. Wow. See how square it is? That's how you know it's wombat poo. <laughs> that there is wombat poo. <laughs> Who was here? <laughs> there we are. We don't need a flip chart for that one. Nope. Pretty obvious. <laughs> so we were given a book to read along the way and it tells you all about the bush. And then they leave these little markers? Uh, markers around. Like a this is where we were talking about in the book. Saying that you need to have fire to help with food. And the big fire came through here and 2013, I think, and that's why the trees are still black. Yeah. So. So they'd like to do low heat burns. Yeah. As like we're all place. learning. Yeah. When the settlers and everything first came here and they looked at the landscape, they went, "Oh my gosh, that's so messy. We'll have to get something in here, clear it all up, and plant some beautiful trimmed gardens." And that's what they tried to do. And they started that at Port Arthur. Um, it's not how it looked today, but it certainly was trimmed. 
But this is what the loon's coat was when they first came. Pretty dry here. It's a different landscape to the yeah. rainforesty side. Pretty. Now you there, babe. And then we got level again for a minute. So I got some beef jerky. It's not my thing, but I was told it's very good for a snack. So what a place to stop for morning tea. So I'm going to have some beef jerky and a muesli bar because my stomachs are grumbling. How are you faring? I'm going to have the other half of my breakfast, the breakfast bake. Yep. And maybe you need a bar because I can fit it in. These are quite filling. Okay. I didn't get to do a post at breakfast. I think I just made my porridge and hoovered it in. I was saying to Karen, it's not no harder than any walks that we've done so far, mm. but it's just because we're carrying 13 kilo. But it was interesting because we spoke to a lady this morning and we, she, said, she said, what have you got? We said 13 kilo. She said, oh, I thought you were travelling lightly. So I think everyone else takes 15 to 20, but we wouldn't have been able to do it. Give it a go. I tried about 15 years ago. Someone gave me a bit of beef jerky to try at Canungra Pub. And I wasn't a fan. Maybe just the thought of it. Mm. Good protein, apparently. Mm. Still not a fan, It's huh? just a thought. Oh. But, and you know how I like raw oysters? I think I prefer raw oysters. Oh, really? I think. I just got to get used to it. What's the flavour like, though? Focus on the flavour. Okay, flavour. It like okay, it's a bit salty now. Oh, salty. That right. might be good. Get some salt in your body. I don't know how much you're supposed to eat. But get a protein in me. A bit like leather. <laughs> <laughs> My dad wouldn't eat it. It's not. You have to cut through steak with a knife and have it a butter medium knife. rare. Yeah, he likes his cutting with a butter knife. I'm getting used to it. Yeah. So, beef jerky apparently mm. is the go-to when you're hiking. Okay. Oh, you got a bag too, babe. Yeah, I know. You I see organic. sea salt. That's why I can taste the salt. My taste buds are working. Gluten-free, 97 calories for how much? The whole bag, do you reckon? Doubt it. I think it is, the whole bag. 14 grams. Sorry, 14 grams of protein. I know I'm waffling. But can I just say, the more I'm eating this, because this, apparently this whole bag is one serve, but I'm just going to have a nibble. But the more I read it, the more I'm enjoying it, because it's grass-fed beef, um, organic coconut, tree sap, sea salt, organic apple, apple cider vinegar, black pepper, organic beetroot powder, powder and culture, no preservatives, and the bag is carbon negative. How is that? Our natural jerky is made with only real food ingredients. There you go. Cooey. <laughs> Marcus, cooey. <laughs> I have to bring you some to the States when we come for the wedding. Just come around the next headland. Look at that. I think that's the blade. That's where we're walking to tomorrow. Fantastic. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at that. Look at that view. Yeah. While we're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> So, making another stop. Get the get the uh, long sleeve off because it's it's a cheeky little climb up there, and it's getting hot. Nope, oh, blowflies hanging around you. What does that mean? <laughs> it means I didn't shower last night. <laughs> Up we go again. Wow. Some, some flat walking for a little while might be nice. I love these little stories along the way. Cloud forest. Apparently this is where about 150 metres a pocket of fog comes through. Sea mist, sea fog. It comes in and gives all this moisture. So all these lichen and stuff grow. And there's specific trees that grow here. And they call it the cloud forest. Yeah, very cool. Steps. In case you didn't see them. Oh, it is. Look. I see people on it. Yeah, that's where we're headed. Cool. Yep. We haven't done the second peak yet, Kaz. Shit. We haven't done the second peak yet. one small patch about again was there some particular patch of how look at this is one small patch one small patch of beautiful string flowers we've walked across all different landscapes already and in a moment we're going to be walking across wind swept heath oh i'm so excited layers put the layers back on <laughs> could be wind swept How's your knee going? Yeah, right. I love these bark on these trees. It looks like hair, like it's a hairdo flicking out. A 70s flick. It's a bit like yours in the morning, babe. Yeah, probably that's yeah. why I like it. Isn't it? <laughs> cool. What are you thinking of the walk so far, babe? We're on day two. We've done a couple of peaks, a couple of small peaks. Um, that's good. Trip stumble. Um, kind of, it's a challenging thing, isn't it? Because you sort of know what you've got to keep doing it day after day. Mm. That's kind of a challenge. You know, if I was doing this walk on any given day, I'd be happy. 
okay, but then tomorrow you've got to wake up and do another one even bigger. So kind of that trepidation, I think, um, tarnishes your enjoyment of it a bit. But it's an enjoyable walk. Hard. Fast. To walk in the park for some people. Oh, for some people. Yeah. Open. Oh, look at the rocks there, babe. That's what we just came down, those. So this is just like a carpet of shrubs. Waist high carpet of shrubs. Just beautiful. Yeah. With flowers. So I don't know if that's rain or fog that they talk about. Like we're really into the three packs now, day two. Let's get the big gun tripod out. <laughs> <laughs> you have a great perspective on the walk. Now we're going into head high shrubs. 